This is called Angel to the Rescue. Now here's the people of Jerusalem, and they are working hard on the walls and on the towers because something bad has happened. There's a big army that's coming towards Jerusalem from the king of Assyria, and they were bad news. Do you know why they were bad news? Because they had already conquered the other part of Israel called Samaria. They'd already come and taken them all away, and they'd come and they'd captured all the other cities, and there was only one city left, and that was Jerusalem. And so there they were, working on the walls. But they know what the difference was between when Assyria came to Samaria and when Assyria came to Jerusalem? There was a big difference. Do you want to know what it was? Well, when the Assyrian army came to Samaria and surrounded that city, the king there didn't ask God for help. He went down to the king of Egypt and said, can you send us some soldiers? Can you send us some help? And do you know what happened there? It didn't work. It didn't work. But here in Jerusalem, there were three special people. There was the king, whose name was Hezekiah, and there was a prophet named Isaiah, and there was the king's mother, whose name was Abijah. Ab Abijah, sorry. And they all prayed to God. Now, when the, here's the guy. Do you see him there? He's from the king of Assyria. And his name was Rabsakeh. And Rabsakeh was the, he was the diplomat from Assyria. And he was coming to tell them, you better just open the doors and let us in. Because we're going to come, and if you don't let us in, we're going to tear this whole city down. And you know what language he was saying that in? He was saying that in Hebrew, so everybody on the walls could understand. But you know what King Hezekiah told them? He told them, don't answer back to this guy because he's just trying to scare you. Don't worry and just wait to see what God will do. And so he was mad. This guy was really mad. He said, do you know what he said to them? He said, what have the gods of all the other nations that our country came to done for them? What about this country or that country? Their gods didn't save them. So why do you think that your God is going to save you? And do you know why their God is different? Because he's the real God. The God of Israel was the real, true God. And so King Hezekiah wasn't worried because he had prayed to God. And God told him to just wait and see. And then, so there you can see, there's King Hezekiah praying. And you know, in this case, we talked a little bit earlier in Sabbath school about a case where a big army came and then the army basically started fighting each other, and then Israel was saved. But in this case, what happened is that God sent his angel. And when the people went out, they found that the entire army of Assyria had been destroyed by God's angel. And that king, he went home and never bothered Israel anymore. So what can we learn from this story? Sometimes, it looks like we have problems that are too big for us, things that we don't know how to handle, because that's a big army. There was 185,000 people in that army. That's almost every single person in the city of Halifax in one big army marching against the city. Would you be scared if you saw that? You wouldn't be scared? Yeah. I'd be scared, all with their, their horns and their shorts. But we have big problems too, maybe not that big. But when we have problems, God tells us not to worry, not to try and run around and solve everything ourselves, although we do need to work like they did to rebuild the wall. But at the same time, he tells us not to be afraid. Don't be afraid when big problems come, because who do we have to call on? Who can we? That's right, we've got Jesus. And you know, he, the Bible tells us that when we look in heaven, so here, this was... This was just one, just one angel came and took care of that whole army. And do you know how many angels the Bible says that God has? A thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand, which is just to say so many that you can't even count them. 
And so each one of you has an angel that God has given a special job to look after you. So when you pray, you have a lot of help. Does anyone have any questions? All right, would anyone like to pray? Who wants to pray? Do you want to pray? No? Do you want me to pray? Who, who votes for me to pray? Oh, oh, okay, now the hands go up. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, I'll pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that when we have problems that are too big for us, you are not too big for our problems. Thank you, Lord, that you gave King Hezekiah the heart of faith to pray to you, and thank you for the deliverance that you send. I pray, dear Lord, that you would protect each one of our children here from any big problems. But Lord, if they do come, I pray that you will teach them and remind them to pray to you and to ask for your help in whatever comes their way. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody. You can go back to your seats.